The following may contain language that is not suitable for all audiences. Joining us here on the Lofac Podcast, we're snacking again. Um, well, you know, we're in the uh, we're in the comfy studio, so there's really not much to do but snack. We'd smoke in here, but nah, it's not very good. So, um, yeah, Dave and Matt here. So Matt's trying his best to be a decent conversationalist, and I'm, I'm trying my best not to sound like Kevin Newsom going ah every time I talk. <laughs> it's um, it's an uphill battle for both of us. <laughs> <laughs> But you, um, you and Gavin Newsom. Yeah, there you go. But I thought um, I thought today we'd talk about something that's um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be bursting bubbles here, but you know that whole idea. People sit there and tell you that that very tired line: "You can do anything you put your mind to," and all that stuff. Uh huh. Well, I guess it's uh, the the cat's already out of the bag. What I think of that. But what do you think about that statement? Um. I was always a firm believer that you could, that it was kind of like, that you could like, uh, I had, for a long time, I had the magical thinking going on. Well, I don't, I don't think it's like, necessarily magical no, thinking. It is magical thinking. So, so if you if don't you believe get, something enough, or if you, if you think positively about it, that, you know, that it would come about. I think I was part of the. Well, that's a different thing. I'm thinking, of, I'm thinking about the. The parents, teachers, folks sit there and say, you can do anything that you put your mind to. You just got to, like, you know, work hard. That, the whole idea that if you work hard enough. Oh. Well, I was brought up my whole life to believe that, and it's only, it's taken about the last 15 years of. Or if you believe hard enough, which is your your version of it. But, you know, if only you do something enough. Well, I was told that by my teachers. I was told that by various parents and family members, and I believed it for a long time. And then now I don't believe it anymore. Why not? Because I think I did everything right, and the last decade has been shit. Just very difficult. Well, maybe you're confused. Maybe you haven't worked hard enough. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I think I've worked hard enough. Or believed enough. I believed. But anyway, uh, without, without, without inserting my personal life into this conversation, I do think that that whole idea is kind of bunk. It's it's kind of hokum. It's uh, it's a canard. If you believe something enough, not a French duck, but or not French for duck. <laughs> Isn't that what a duck is? A canard? Yes, but it's also a, what is it like a straw man? Well, no, it's a lie. Yeah, like it's in English, a canard is a lie, which is why when I talk about a lie and I want to be a real jerk about it, I'll say, you know what you told me is what the French call it. Duck. I think that would be too tricky for most people. That's okay. Well, it's not. It's not too tricky when I when I do the uh, the what's his face, the guy from Saturday Night Live, Mike Myers thing. The you know when 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 you when you say when you say oh he's got that uh, that thing that the that cer- that that the French say a uh, certain I don't know what. <laughs> See, but when you say that, I know what you're talking about. Je ne sais quoi. Right, so you don't know that, uh, you know, a canard is French for duck. No. Oh. Anyway, moving on. So, but why, why don't you believe it? Um, I think that a lot of things that we're told is really just forms of um, control and manipulation. And that particular statement is really just for our own sanity. People like to do stuff. They can't sit around waiting for shit. I'm I'm the king of people that cannot sit around and wait for stuff. But yet you are also able to sit around in a circumstance like this and not lose your mind. Because I do things to, you know, to short circuit my own idiocy. But people are losing their mind right now because they don't have anything to do. To do. We've got tons of stuff to do. Nothing is closed. The only thing that's you closed. You can't go anywhere. The only thing that's closed that I want to do is go to the gym. <laughs> I saw my neighbor yesterday. She was like, I really want to. She was like, she looked terrible and tired and just 
totally stressed out and just I was like who was this person and she said I so she's like I just want to go out go like eat out go to a movie and she was like really really down about it and yet she has access to food uh-huh. alcohol yep on screen entertainment yes so basically I certainly hope. Oh, and she has a partner as well, so they, she also has access to sex. So if, if if she starts looking at me real sideways, then then I'll know that she listens to us. <laughs> but I've just got to say, you know, cry me a river. <laughs> you know, I see every down. I'm like, how are you going? She's like, um. yeah, that's that's uh, that's 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 what I call rich person problem, <laughs> or what someone else might say, first world problem. Yeah, I like that expression. I like the first word problems expression. What was the other one? Oh, one of my other favorite was, are you going to complain about how tight your ruby slippers are? Yeah, I, I tried that one on a buddy of mine. He didn't like it. Why? Because he didn't like the comparison to uh, what's-her-face? Yeah, Dorothy. No, the actress, Liza Minnelli. <laughs> no, her mom. Uh, her mom is from The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> you didn't know that? That's Liza Minnelli's mom? Oh, my goodness. Judy Garland. Yes. Judy Garland is Liz Minnelli's mother. Yes. What? Wow. Mind blown. For someone who claims to love all kinds of things that you claim to love, you sure do know very little about it for one of those things. Oh, remind me that I talked about what I watched this last night and the next episode, maybe. Okay. But, um... What were we talking about? If you put your mind to something enough. Oh yes, yeah. I just I don't. It's, it's like mind over matter. Yeah, because that's fake. So it's it's not mind over matter. If if some if you sit there and be like oh you know you're not going to be able to stop a bullet. If you sit there and like oh it's not like you're going to be able to fly fly. You, you might. Falling is not considered flight. Maybe like through like a process of becoming a master at meditation, you like learn how to you know float. Yeah, that's different. But the whole the whole thing about you know, the whole thing about about you can you can you can do anything you put your mind to. The part that's the canard is that you know that you can succeed, that you will succeed. The whole point is do your best, try your hardest, and the ans- and the at the the end of that is you might not succeed though. Now that's a horrible thing to say to a little kid, right? Try really hard, you're still going to fail, but you know <laughs> you got to give it a good effort, no matter what you do. You can try and try and try, but if it's not in the cards, kid, you might have a miserable life just failing, having one failure after another, even though you're giving it your best shot. It's not you might, it's you will. So that's not something... Who's going to say that to a kid? Well, it depends on the kid, I would say. If I got if I got a hard-ass kid that's kind of wise beyond his years, we're like, you know what, kid? Shit's hard. <laughs> You can do your best, and if it's not in the cards for you, it's not, if it's not your destiny, <laughs> you know, it ain't happening. Yeah, I really want I want you to have kids just so I can see, so I can be a fly on the wall when you have this discussion with your kid, dude. That's another thing that people kind of, kind of, uh, kind of um, overlook: genius and stupidity. They're not hereditary. <laughs> you are born a genius. You are born a dumbass. But it's not hereditary. If your dad's a genius, it don't mean you're going to be a genius, too. If your dad's a dumbass, it don't mean you're going to be a dumbass, too. There's there's a whole lot of character characteristics, character traits in people. That right. Are, Intelli- intelligence doesn't get passed along. You're taking this too literally. No. You know, I know I said before that I don't believe in superiority, and I don't. But there are people that are clearly superior to other people. Oh, Yeah. And when I say superior, just more skilled, more whatever. Right? Stronger, whatever. Yeah. I don't think those are necessarily genetic. Like the type of person that would be an incredible administrator of a country could be born the kid of a sharecropper. Oh, yes. Yes. And that's well, history has shown this. And that's to also say that just because you're Mr. Hoity Toity or Mrs. Hoity Toity Fancy Pants that your kid's going to be just the super awesome kid that should be the king. And yes, I think that there is a country in particular that I'm thinking of, and I had no idea that, uh, you know, the current monarch did not like the next in line that much. What are you talking about? I'll tell you afterwards. All right. Because I don't want to make it seem like I, you know, 
care about uh, monarchy, which I don't. Well, so I guess this is a decent time to end it, right? I mean, yep. we got nothing really cool to say, cooler, do we? We do not. So, right now, I don't. Okay. All right. Thank you very much for listening, folks. 